With respect. I've already apologized for any overstepping with Trina. Yes, yes you did. So I'm not quite sure what more we have to discuss. Look, I realize that I came on very strong the first few times that we met. I made assumptions about what motivated your friendship with my daughter. Well, when it comes to protecting one's children, one can never be too careful, so believe it or not, I do understand. Whatever it was that motivated your interest in Trina to start helping her, I do realize now that, yes, it came from a genuine place. Well, thank you. Trina's work at the gallery has been very grounding for her. And I'm realizing now it's even more important in the wake of her father's death. So I believe you when you say that your intentions towards Trina are honorable. I appreciate that. But I don't believe you live an honorable life. So while I won't prevent Trina from working for you, I won't be taking my eyes off of her either. Normally, if anybody spoke to me the way you just spoke to me, I would tell them to go to hell. That they don't know anything about me or what I've been through in my dishonorable life. And is that what you're telling me? Well, on the contrary. If I were in your shoes and my daughter were working for a woman with my, shall we say, colorful past, you would be cautious. I'd be livid. A mother should never take her eye off her daughter's safety or her happiness. There is nothing more important. Trina is determined to work extra hours at the gallery. Feel free to say no. Are you asking me to turn her down? I'm asking you not to feel obligated. I mean, it's one thing for her to be there a couple hours, a couple days a week, but it's a whole different thing for her to be there seven days a week. That's a big ask for her. Well, if we start to drive each other crazy, I'll send her out on an errand. <laughs> and when she returns with coffee five minutes later, then what? I'll send her to Tokyo then, and she can pick up whatever is trending there. That'll take longer than 10 minutes. <laughs> you are kidding, right? <laughs> of course. OK. <laughs> Just checking. So yeah, if you say yes and she works with you, I have a couple requests. Can you keep an eye on her? And if she's there to work, make her work. Yes, of course. As if I could stop her. I know a gallery might seem like a placid little boutique, but there really is a lot to do. And you, you feel free to pop in and check up on us anytime you like. Oh, well, I'm, I'm sure that won't be necessary. And yet, I have a feeling we'll be seeing you. At least once a week. Maybe more. Good. You'll always be welcome. Thank you. Well, good night, Mrs. Cassidyne. Good night, Dr. Robinson. Hi. Everything okay with you and Ava? Yes, we talked it out, and I did give her permission to work the extra hours at the studio. Yay! <laughs> Thanks, Mom! <laughs> hey! Julian! I hear congratulations are in order. What? Well, your wife makes me look like Mother Teresa. I heard she, she made a run for it. Garçon, champagne! We don't have a garçon. Garçon! You're the garçon, come on. <laughs> Why are you in such a foul mood? Really, we, we ought to be celebrating the end of your hellish marriage. Because I am far from being out of the hell. What did Nell do now? Well, she uh, claims that she left a letter detailing my um, role in Wiley's kidnapping. So until we get that letter, leave it on borrowed time. You should have let me kill her when I offered.